Okay, while we're training by ourselves, solo, we want to make sure we're not developing any bad habits. And one of the principal bad habits that you see people doing is this. Jamming the point of your sword into the ground. This is the thing that you're intending to use to solve all of your violence problems, and you're going to stick the point in the ground. This makes no sense to me. Second, and this one makes even less sense, I'm going to do this. I'm going to stab, literally stab myself in the foot. Um, this fundamentally, in my opinion, uh, de is derived from a, from a basic um, fallacy that this tool is not replicating a weapon, that it is in fact just a training tool and safe. This is a fallacy, it is a wrong approach to handling these training tools. We have to pretend or believe in all of our actions that this is what it is appearing to be, a sword. And if you had a sword, and your plan was to use this thing to protect yourself and your family, you probably wouldn't stick the point in the ground. So this is not an appropriate way to handle it or, or stand with a sword. Swords should be handled in two hands when it's not being swung, should be held in control at all times. Two hands, two points of contract, so you always know where the sword is. If you're gonna have it in repose, relaxing, then the best way to do it is put it in the left hand and hold it at your left side as you would normally um, if this was a circumstance in which you would need a, needed a sword. Because here it's ready and I can come immediately to a guard and an action.